What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks, you know who this is by looking at the pretty picture out there. And go visit all my sites, especially get at me on Instagram. I'm kind of getting blown up on Instagram. Appreciate that. All the models on my Instagram, love you, mommy. No, 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 uh, today I'm going to talk about a part, uh, su a subject that we rarely talk about, but a lot of you guys do in 4, 3, 2, 1, bang. We're going to talk about not this wedding ring you see. I'm going to talk about a situation that happened in one of my Facebook groups. This picture is what they used, and the question was by a gentleman asked the females. He asked the females, if a guy would ask, would ask you to marry you and gave you this engagement ring, what would you do? Now. Most of the females in this group said that they would refuse it because of the size of that rock on the, on that lady's finger. Now, I read some of the comments, and I don't hate people for what they think. If that's how, get it how you live it, that's how I feel. Now, but the point I made to a lot of people, and a lot of, this was being made too by others, but the point I made was the problem with a lot of people nowadays fake is the new real and they think because of the size of that diamond is not as much isn't worth as much to them and the point I tried to make is look how many people wear these big fake ass cubic zircons in their ear you know they're fake diamonds come on now let's let's just let's keep it on the up and up let's keep it 100 they wear these fake big ass diamonds I mean not diamonds it's cubic zircons and I tried to explain to them, they don't understand, if that's a diamond, that diamond is worth more than their cubic zircon. Matter of fact, the only thing expensive on a cubic zircon is the gold that's painted on the brass or the, or the metal uh, part of the earring or ring. Because what I try to explain to people, what they don't understand is, well, it, it's the clarity of the diamond that makes it expensive or makes it price worthy, I would say. And a lot of people didn't understand that because they're saying, well, that diamond's too small. I wouldn't have took it. Problem is, is that diamond's probably worth 10 times more than that cubic zircon in your ear. And this is where it leads me to believe that a majority of people are out just, they're out to get it how they live it. understand that. But you don't necessarily un understand the value of anything. A lot of people think bigger is better. And we still have the mentality in America. And they're out for self. Now, and I try to explain to these chicks. I was talking to both men and women. And the group that I'm in, it's a mixture of men and women. And I was telling, tell, first of all, I told these guys. Number one, the guys that would keep buying a bigger ring. I said, look, if you get a woman with money and that's where you she think she's going she's gonna to stay and you keep her with money, once you run out, she's going to run out. Because if you lose all your money, you don't have nothing to keep her with. You're older now. You probably bust your ass 50 million hours on the job. She's out the door. And that's a fact. I've seen this. I've seen both sides of the coin. As for these ladies, and I've definitely seen this. I've seen this firsthand. I've seen, uh, if you ladies think you can get a man with your looks, and he's buying a lot of stuff, wait till you hit your 30s and your 40s. And wait till you get all your flab, you, you know, you push out a couple of rugrats, you know. You get wrinkles, you get a little, you get the fat. No offense, a lot of these, a lot of these younger chicks now looking, looking kind of rusty any goddamn way. But that's beside the point for another day. But once you get in your 30s and 40s, you'll be kind of looking washed up because you, you were sat, sitting around eating Fritos because dude was paying the bills. But let me get this, let me tell you this. If he has it like that, he will divorce your ass break you off some cash and get a younger chick that he can pay for I've seen this I've seen I've had dudes that like were sick of their wives you know and the only reason she stayed with or she she was with him because he was making a ton of money and they, they said that well he got on the slick and divorced her got himself like like he told me why am I gonna keep paying for a for a Cadillac when I could pay the same price or a little bit more for a Ferrari and the Cadillac kind of, kind of is breaking down every five minutes. No, I was like, that's on you, bro. So people, you have to understand. Just because 
the, you understand, it's not the value of the object, it's the value of your relationship. And if it's how you how you got them is how you're going to have to keep them. I know for my relationship, it wasn't built on that, based on that, luckily. Because if I would have saw that, I would have been out. I wouldn't have done what I did, married anyway. But uh, how you get them is how you keep them. If you married her with money, you better never go broke. And if you married him with your looks, ladies, God, God, heaven forbid, you get in your 30s and 40s. Because like I said before, a lot of these young girls are washed up already. So it'll take like 10 more years before you go further down that pipe. So I'm out. Try, hopefully this helps. And uh, I got things to do. You know what I'm saying? All right. Peace.